Hi guys, welcome to Julie Silversmith channel. I'm sorry I don't have a real pottery video for you today because we are getting the pottery studio ready for winter. I guess it's a little late, but we just have the, um, finally have the means to do this. We were able to get the insulation and some wall material together. And now we are installing all that and I should be back, oh gosh, I hope next week. I hope next week I'm back in the pottery barn making pottery again. But I can tell you there is nothing colder than trying to throw pottery in a drafty studio. And so I did some caulking around the windows and Jack and I started painting the walls that we're going to put in hopefully this weekend. All the insulation is finished now and I did caulking. I stuffed insulation in every little crack I could find. Uh, we had to take so much stuff out of the studio. We even had to take down the shelving and everything. And, but we're gonna have to reinstall that shelving, shelving. The shelving that's screwed into the wall is a great place for wedging clay. And the other shelving was a really good little workbench over by the window. So I think we'll probably be putting those back in. I'm not sure. I had another idea for a different kind of furniture to put into the studio. I thought there's like a table that folds, has two, um, two sides that fold down, but you know, I just don't think it's probably sturdy enough to use in the studio. So not exactly sure what furniture is going back in, but my chandelier is still sitting in a box and it's going to be lovely. We went with Valspar Ultra White Semi Brilliant Interior Latex Paint. I wanted to find the most neutral white paint possible and I went through all the colors and looked at them and found ultra white to be the most neutral and it turns out you don't even have to do any mixing for this paint because it's already in the can as ultra white. It's their basic white for Valspar. We're going to be making videos in the studio and so I needed the light that would bounce the most reflection around. I didn't want to use gloss paint because gloss paint is a little tacky looking, a little too shiny. And so we went with the semi brilliant, which I guess is what they mean by semi gloss. And it's washable, so that's good because you know I'm going to be splattering gla uh, glaze drips. I'll be splattering clay off the wheel and it's going to get messy. So I'm going to be able to wash those walls down with a sponge when things happen because things are going to happen. So I'm super excited to make that change. Also, once I started working around the windows, I thought, oh no, I'm going to need curtains. So I've got to think about what we're going to do about putting some curtains over the windows. Often there's a little too much light coming in and causing shadows and things. And so I have to actually control the light coming in. And um, maybe they should be sheer, I don't know. But whatever it is, whatever I bring into the studio, I want it to be pretty, I want it to be girly, and I want it to be fun and calming. So I have qualifications for all the furniture and things that I want to bring in. I just want to have a place that I'm excited to go out and work in every day. 